Alright, I'm back once again. How do I sound compared to uh, the game volume? Yeah, turn the game off, let me know. <laughs> Recognize that text on anywhere? Yeah. Sounds good, alright? Sounds good. Okay, um... Alright, I'm gonna be doing Ellie Photo. This is, of course, Cyrus 64. Which, myself and many others, consider to be the best game in the series. Count it down. Five, four, three, two, one, go. That was pretty clean for me. <laughs> the menuing there. I usually don't do quite so well at that. First bit of time save in any Harvest Moon 64 speedrun. Major time save, saying no to the mayor <laughs> for doing the town tour there. Got it. And then right back to bed. Thank you for the good luck, everyone. All right. So the first order of business is mostly to uh, work on Rick affection and get some money. Um, I could, I could fish to do that, um, and also fish would give me some better um, Ellie gifts, but it's uh. puts me at the mercy of RNG a little more than I'd like to be. Um, so for the sake of consistency, I'll just use forgeables to get the... Uh, oops. To get the money I need for a chicken. Chicken will give me regular Ellie gifts. I do want to grab the fishing pole from this guy, though. Reason being is if you don't. Well, I picked up too many things. Yeah, if you don't pick up that fishing pole, it um, blocks all your ability to do Karen's ankle event. So we'll lose out on some uh, affection there. Got to do the intro first. Always gotta do the intro first, or otherwise it eats your gift. Okay. And that'll be the first few days we go out. Um, we're pretty much only gonna go out on days where uh, Rick's shop is open. Because we're gonna be uh, abusing the music box glitch, of course. What? Did I say Karen's ankle event? I meant Ellie's. Must have misspoke there. We just saw Karen. Well, another version, an alternate version of Karen in the last run, so.
Yeah. Multiverse, yeah, pretty much. So now I can carry the extra item because I don't need to clear intro. Okay, these these random like forgeable gifts to Ellie does not give me very much affection, but. That's two visits to Rick. He will fix a music box for me the fifth time I visit him. If I, you know, gift him and talk to him each time. In the first four visits. Actually, you can get away with skipping one a gift on one of those first four days as long as you gift him before you talk to him on the fifth day. That dog drank a lot of water, apparently. I don't know if you guys noticed that. It's raining today, which is fine, because we weren't going to go out today anyway. Okay, so I think that was Monday, though, but, but um, festival day. Okay, so Tuesday. Tuesday is another day of Rick's available. So back out we go with the forageables. early again. Watch the timer over there to kind of time it. I do that a lot um, when I run this game is if I, if I pause it and I see, okay, I have to wait, you know, this many seconds, I'll just kind of look at my game timer and wait until that many seconds passes on my on my game timer and then go. I hope I grabbed enough items. But I feel like I have less money than in my practice. Oh, 
We'll figure it out. Um, yeah, it's okay. We'll stick today. It's Wednesday. Okay. How are we doing? We need 190. Oh, yeah, okay. We're for one. Yeah, we're fine. We're very okay on money. Can I skip the goddess pond screen? Probably. If I grab everything else. Saves me a couple loading zones. Just you guys wait until the randomizer comes out. <laughs> in, in, in a month or two, you know. Thought there already was one? The randomizer? Nah. This game. Desert's not getting paid to do it, so however long it takes him to do it, it's how long it takes him to do it in my, in my mind, you know? If I was Panama, I'd be like, hey, hurry up, but I'm not. So. Stuff out the way. What do we want to name our chicken? I skipped in the beginning, I skipped out on giving special names for stuff. But I could be convinced to name the chicken. Possibly. For fun. <laughs> I had a feeling that was going to be suggested. Get a. I suppose we have a pretty good streak going of naming animals um, after Odd Tom. In this marathon, so. Why mess with a good thing, right? 
Oh, there's an O in that. Okay. Alright. So we got our Tom over here. Pull him out of the chicken coop. For safety, I'm going to go out and grab an egg. Alright. So we got a Monday coming up here. 15th. Now you guys are going to see a little glitch here. Normally you want to clear that person on your farm and you don't want to do this. Sorry, I had to count there. Um, yeah, normally you don't want to do this because um, those tills don't give me any hoe experience and they don't, and there's no possibility of getting the power berry when it's like that. But if you do that, you till ten times, and then run off your farm. You can till without moving that that little counter that goes up, and uh, get the music box to spite. Despite the NPC on your farm blocking it from appearing. Because <laughs> yeah, when there's an NPC on your farm like that, it doesn't let you get. Dig up the music, doesn't let you dig up the music box, doesn't let you get a power berry, it does it does a lot of funky stuff. But uh, I, I won't be using that glitch at all in all, in all photos. I'll, I'll be actually clearing the person off my farm so that I get, you know, a chance so I, that I can um, get an upgraded hoe and also um, so that I get more opportunities to dig up the power berry. But. We don't need to do it. We don't need either of those things in this run, so. So, for the purposes of this run, um, the glitch is actually slightly faster. New strats? Not really. <laughs> now, this is, this is same old, same old. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No music box because of the mayor's interference. But we walk off farm, till anywhere we feel like it, and music box. that early? Oh, um, okay, I am that early. Thought I did something wrong for a moment there. Whoa, indeed. Um, we get six, I mean, you get a total of six points when you give it, um, so I guess that kind of depends on your interpretation. Some might tell you the, that you get your regular one, that gives you five, because you get your regular talk point plus five. So, like, um, but, uh, yeah. Um. So, yeah.
It, but yeah, but it kind of yeah, it kind of replaces the normal you know talk affection. So wait, I was not supposed to come outside today. Oh well, we got an extra egg in the pocket now at least, which is always nice. So yeah, I'll say five more points than the normal talk for a total of six. Okay, I think it was, yeah, it was a couple seconds early now that I'm thinking about it. It's not ideal there, but... And that was the, that was Thursday the 18th, I believe? the 19th, but we have yet another farm visitor. So yeah. That's like almost every time I've dug up the music box now. I think every time, yeah, I think every time after the first time. <laughs> done the, I've done the glitchy thing. Just to show off that I can do it, that I can do it other places. Hey, Ellen, give me a music box, please. Thank you. <laughs> that was very nice of her. Okay, now that, no, Rick's specific positioning there indicates that um, talking to him would have triggered a cutscene. And. Which is. doesn't take a terrible amount of time, but it is faster to. Um, to exit the shop and re enter it. To avoid it altogether. Saturday the 20th. Sunday the 21st. And now Monday the 22nd. Hey, no one on my farm. I don't have to count while digging for the music box. And I might actually get the power barrier too. 
You don't want to, because it <laughs> loses you like a second or two, but... But we could. Look, Monday, so... Ellie is either over here, or she's on that other screen. And we got a blue heart for Ellie. If you haven't noticed, you can actually um, carry a fixed and broken music box simultaneously. But you want to be careful about utilizing that because if you have both a fixed and a broken music box simultaneously and you talk to Rick and he attempts to fix your broken one, you will break the glitch. <laughs> you will not be able... Where's my chicken? You'll not be able to dig up any more music boxes. Of course my chicken hides on me on a day where I, like, don't need to kill time. <laughs> you can just go right to the festival. Don't have to wait for anyone to open up their shop. So what do you guys think? What are, what are the chances we, we get hit with the uh, Ellie wins Harvest Goddess and we can't dance with our time loss here? Pulpery wins. That's a pretty good bet. Brenna thinks Maria's gonna take the crown. That's very possible. Well, Ellie didn't win. Who could have possibly foreseen this outcome? <laughs> it's very, it's very frequent. Now we get to dance with Ellie, which is who is tied for second in best uh, dancers amongst the um, the ladies. It goes Karen, then like Ellie and Anne are tied, and then and then way down below that is, is Popery and even and even lower still is Hillary. Yeah, Karen gets bonus points for the double spin. And, uh... uh Anne, and, Anne and Ellie are technically correct, but they don't get the, the extra points for that, that stylish double spin. And then Popery and Maria, they, they, they lose points for not knowing what to do with their hands. Oh, that is rain. Is that more rain? Oh boy. Alright, Hot Tom. Hot Tom, we, we, we have... We have a situation here. <laughs> I was doing so well on the rain luck, too. And then, a, and then a two for. Saturday. Okay. All 
I suppose I could have checked the weather because it's argued because if it if it's supposed to rain tomorrow, it's arguably better just to leave them in there. But it, I guess it doesn't really matter. So I gotta walk. I gotta walk back and forth from there anyway. So I guess it doesn't really make a difference. I think I spoke it into existence here. Um, is it okay to leave them outside? It's probably okay to leave them outside here, right? Yeah, what could go wrong? Whose world record am I gonna break? I'm not breaking anyone's world record. <laughs> not with this run. I don't know. I feel like I, I feel like I might have. I feel like I might have a run of this on the board. Okay, Ellie, not over there. Let me eggs with it. Oh, okay, we have a few eggs. That's nice. So one nice thing about grabbing extra eggs is um, if there's none there to grab when you go outside on your affection days because your chicken's unhappy due to being rained on, you still have a couple. <laughs> what is happening in chat right now? Is that rain again? Good lord. I don't like that. I'm gonna put you inside. I mean, rain's fine, it's just like... In rapid succession, it can be problematic. Summer music, though. So now I have to check the forecast. Because, um... While it's no big deal if a chicken is outside or any animal is outside when it starts raining. As long as, you know, you take care of them before, as long as you don't go to bed with it raining. And even then it's not so bad. Um, in summer you can get typhoons and a typhoon will straight up kill the chicken. Um, if this wasn't a marathon, and I was like, you know, trying to go for like world record or whatever, I would just, you know, straight up YOLO and go for it and just and just hope I don't get a typhoon. Um, and you know, and if you get a typhoon and the run dies, well, well, so be it. You know, it's better than than losing that time checking the the TV. Um, but. Seeing how this is a marathon and we really don't want to, you know, just have the run just straight up die like that. Well, I guess the run wouldn't necessarily be dead, but it would lose quite a lot of time. Um, we'll eat those small time losses for the sake of safety. Marathon safety.
Man, Desert's run earlier doesn't seem like it was that long ago, but look at how much older Ellen got since that run. Those of you who don't know what I'm talking about there, this game takes place essentially two generations after the, the original SNES game. The five girls that you can marry in the SNES game are the grandmothers of the five girls you can marry in this game. We will not see Grandma die. Don't worry about that. So we're not going to talk to her at all. When is the remake coming out? This year. I talked to uh, Fred Marvelous and he told me this year. Brennan, nobody needs to do that. <laughs> it's true. It's a very good point, uh, demo. when? Well, you'll have to talk someone else into that. Because that is very much just a sleeping run, a sleeping meme run, and I'm not interested. But, someone else might be willing to, to jump on that. Can we? I'm interested. Do I dare? Do I go for it? I think I do. Go for it. I think I gotta go for it. I could mess up my rotation. I don't know. Hmm. I gotta, I gotta try it. I think I gotta try it. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do the sick. I'm gonna try to see if I can do the sick event today. I'm not sure if I can. Um, do I dig up a music box? I guess it doesn't really matter if I do it today or a different day. The only problem is, is like now after if if, if I give away this music box, I won't have another one. Yeah, I won't have I won't be able to fix the other one. So that'd be kinda weird. But oh, come on. 
Okay, so no sick event. However... That might have put her over the threshold. Get it. It did. Yeah, we did it. We did the double dip. Again, the only problem is now, like, my, my music box rotation is kind of... It's kind of scuffed, but... A double dip's a double dip. We'll take that. But that was Wednesday. I think this is Thursday the 9th now. I think we got a festival right now. Yeah. So I guess I didn't need to... Check the TV that other day, but all. Okay, I already have a music box, so don't try to dig one of those up. So, question is, do I just like do a regular gifting day? for Ellie and then fix the music box or do I switch to Rick to Rick first and then and then over to Ellie? This is the question. Any opinions on that? Do I just do a box list day here or do I or do I just or do I just pivot to Rick first? chimed in soon enough we're pivoting to Rick first. This pivot is like Rick's not guaranteed on full nine. <laughs> Does fall nine be a Saturday? Um Shoot, what day of the week is it? It's a Saturday? I wonder how many more eggs I really need here. I'm really tempted to like sell the chicken today. Oh shoot, Ellie's at the freaking beach today. Um, you know what? That's a good excuse to um 
to switch it back around. Yeah, we'll use that opportunity to switch it back around to Ellie first. Yeah, we'll just, yeah. Because otherwise, yeah, that would be kind of... That would be kind of goofy to go, go Rick first over to Ellie when she's over there. That works. That works for me. Cool, cool, cool. All right. time I need this one. <laughs> this is the uh, last run of the evening, so no particular and we're and we're ahead of schedule, so no particular hurry. She's yellow heart now. And I have four more eggs. I can just, I can just sell this chicken, right? Like, like I do not need that many more eggs, right? Like, if she's yellow heart. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell a chicken today. It's like not ideal to come over here before or like after I did the other things. It'd be better to do it before. But, um. Now this way I don't have to check the weather anymore. Okay. Sally's dream. Worry. Don't don't worry. Doug's totally like keeping you, and and you know, not you're totally not going to the slaughterhouse. Don't worry. Dream event. Oh. 
What? Really? Well, it was pretty fast there, because it was, like, 8.59. Okay, so... Ellie might be ankle ready today. Oh, come on. She's either ankle ready or like very, very close. I think you can do her ankle on the same day you do like her dream and stuff. I don't know if there's any restriction on that. It probably would be better to save this for like fall nine for the time skip, but I don't trust it. <laughs> Plus, like, oh, I don't know if you can do her. I don't. Does doing her ankle make it so that she doesn't show up for her dream for the uh, photo event? I don't even know. I feel like I, I feel like I knew that at some point, but I don't remember. Is Ellie heavier than a wine barrel? Yes. All right. So now Ellie is one music box, which I have a fixed music box, and one egg, which I have an egg, away from having high enough affection for her photo event. So we will sleep until the day of her photo event, give her those things on that day, wait for nighttime, and that's a wrap. More or less. It's the best Harvest Moon game, I concur. I very much agree with that sentiment. Fomp is very good. But... No. It's this one. Oh, this is... This is a very nice change of pace from uh, Hero of the Valley, just how, how fast I can sleep. <laughs> Don't have to go outside. It's wonderful. Tom with another knee slapper. That fall music. So that was fall one. Cow festivals today, but we're not going to that. It should be fall six, but since I don't trust my own counting, I'm gonna check. Okay, that was indeed fall six. Now this is very important because this could just straight up kill the run. Have to go about without saving. Because I need it to not rain on Fall 9. Otherwise the event does, otherwise the photo event just simply doesn't happen. Hey, We did it. Basil to say he's leaving. Mm. 
now we play the waiting game. I'll actually just go ahead and wait for him to like fall over. I don't know for sure though. <laughs> Shop is open. It'll be like 10. It'll be like 10 when he does that. Ish. Oh, there he goes. Back up you go. Yeah, look at that. 10 ish. So the requirement for the photo event is 200 affection. You need to have her at 180 in order to do the ankle event. You get 10 points for doing the ankle event. You also get a total of 10 points for giving her an egg in a music box. So she has to have high affection, for sure. Oh, the all photos run on Sunday should be good. I haven't done all photos or even practiced it in a couple of years. But, I'm not concerned. I can do it. Oh, you also got, might be asking yourself, why, why are you doing a, an LE photo run instead of an LE marriage run? Well, photo run showcases just about everything that a marriage run would, except you can see the photo event instead of the marriage. And with marriage runs in this game, unfortunately, the fastest way to get the lumber you need to make the kitchen in order to get married is uh, through dog race RNG, and it's just, it's not fun. Not, not exactly marathon safe, but I also think it's not fun. Um, so, some people, myself included, think the photo runs in this game are better than the marriage runs, and, it's certainly, and they're certainly more marathon safe. So... That's why we're not actually marrying Ellie. We're just uh, going for her photo. Afraid of No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm married IRL. <laughs> All right. Make the the moon drop two or moon drop essence, whatever it's called in this game. Proof that it has becomes moon drop essence. Nice. And we get a little smooch too. Look how excited he gets. He's like, yeah, we did it. And she's like, quiet down, man. Okay, so time's going to be coming up once we see the photo in the album. <laughs> the scandal. Okay, I gotta get the photo out of the mailbox. That looked like the photo. Unless, unless I got another photo somehow. <laughs> Alright. That's it's a moon drop. Wow, oh, did I nail that estimate or what? <laughs> yes, I, I, I guess I guess I guess right on the estimate. How about that? Cameraman on creeper on you, yeah, right. All right. So a fun little idea I had to show off a little bit more is uh, there are some manipulations you can do in this game. And I thought, hey, you know what would be fun? What if I since we're since we're very close to it, what if I show it showed off the manipulation or or, or or at least pra at least took a couple practice stabs at it, since I have to use it. Well, I don't have to use it, but I'm probably going to use it for all photos in a couple days. I 
I'm gonna try to get the coin at the Harvest Festival. So here we go. Haven't done this in a while. I like what the bar looks like. I might have to like reload that. All right. So, if I if I got all those timings correctly on all those inputs, I will get the coin at the harvest festival. Here. Don't have an it was delicious emote, so you have to get it right. Well, I can't make any promises on that. It's the first time I've attempted that in, in quite a while, so. So let me try closing that window out. And reopening that. Let's see. Let's see how it looks. Oh, it still kind of looks wonky. That's weird. It looks wonky like that. I don't like that. Where is this? Thing? I just I just attempted it. We'll find out if I hit it or not. If I get the coin. Yeah, I don't know why it looks wonky like that, but. Easiest manip of my life. <laughs> and we'll dance with Ellie one more time. <laughs> so yeah, so that's... I will be using that, um... Well, when it actually counts during my all photos run, I probably won't get it first try. But with that manip, I should be able to, you know, get the coin, you know, in a, in, in a couple attempts instead of, you know, res you know, resetting and resetting and resetting and hopefully and hoping I randomly luck into it, which you know could take thirty times. You never know. Were your favorite party members? Ah. Uh... Good question. I don't know. Okay. How's the coin manip work? Um, well, basically, you just um, you re you have to reset the game. Um, you have to start on the eleventh because the if you start the morning of the twelfth, the the winner's already decided. So like you reset, and then like you know you're hitting. Like the menus at a specific times as you know it's a visual cue like a little bar kind of comes across and you hit it and you just you hit your inputs right as it's hitting the as the bar is hitting the line and um and then yeah and then um so like you basically like you load up your file at just the right time out in just the right time interval between reset and when that happens and then like you and then you go right to your diary and you hit go to bed without saving, just in case you screw it up. And you and you hit go to sleep, you know, at, at just the right time again. And then if you do it right, if you do it right, you yeah, you get the coin. So it's a rhythm game, sure. Um. So yeah. Uh, unless. The people in charge want me to to kill some more time. I think that'll do it for the Friday portion of the marathon. Uh, let's see, approximately looks like oh math seven hours from now is that what we're looking at seven hours from now well the stream will be back up in about six and a half hours but in just under seven hours yeah just under seven hours from now desert will be kicking off saturday 
with, and you guys are in for a treat. Back to Nature and Friends of Mineral Town, both playing both games at the same time and marrying Potpourri in both games. And I don't know what that's going to look like, and I'm very looking forward, very much looking forward to that. So make sure you check that out in the rest of the marathon, and yeah, we'll see you guys in the morning.